Hello, and thank you for listening to a presentation regarding the ongoing Camp Phillips corridor planning process. My name is Mark Roffers, and I'm here to give you a presentation on the draft plan where it stands right now. What I would like to present is the purpose of the corridor planning project. It's a relatively unique project for Weston. Provide some initial ideas on the plan, and then talk to you a little bit about next steps and how you can comment on the plan. First, let me share with you a little bit about the purpose of our planning effort. In, in essence, what we're trying to do is address the changes in Camp Phillips Road traffic and function over time. What we know is that traffic volumes on Camp Phillips Road have increased by over 30% over the last 15 years and in certain cases over 100%. We are, have a goal of enhancing economic development and growing the tax base through increasing commercial services, retail, and restaurant opportunities along this heavily traveled stretch of road. At the same time, we want to ensure appropriate transitions to the neighborhoods, particularly to the east of Camp Phillips Road. We also realize how important the road is and the corridor is for improving the appearance and the sense of place at one of Weston's key front doors. The plan, once it's complete, will serve as a detailed component of the village's overall comprehensive plan for the community providing a blueprint for future development and redevelopment, including a guide for zoning decisions and public investments that the village may undertake alone or with the help of others. The plan will not require owners to participate in it through changes of land use or sell their land or home if they don't want to. And that's an important point to remember as you look forward to the rest of this presentation. Our planning area extends along the full extent of Camp Phillips Road from Ross Avenue to Weston Avenue and about three or four blocks on either side of the road. So again, it's not just a plan for the road itself, but for future land uses close to Camp Phillips Road. Before we begin a planning process of this scope, we want to make sure we have a firm handle on existing conditions within the area that we're planning for. For the Camp Phillips Road corridor, one of the key uh, issues and opportunities revolve around the Highway 29 interchange. The interchange is a key driver for economic development. It also brings a lot of traffic to Camp Phillips Road, which creates both challenges and opportunities. What we've learned is that Camp Phillips Road, both the roadway and the adjacent land uses, were set up for a past era when the road didn't carry nearly as much traffic as it does today, and an era before State Highway 29 was set up in its current location. So we have a lot of residential uses in very close proximity to a heavily traveled roadway today, which can lead to a lot of uh, conflicts and challenges for those people living in those, those homes. We also need to be aware of existing natural features as they exist along the roadway. Camp Phillips Road is interesting in that it's on a small ridge uh, and e on either side of the ridge, on the east and west, the land falls away a bit. So we need to consider that in our planning for uh, development and stormwater management and control. We also have areas such as this location at the corner of Everest and Camp Phillips Road that are relatively heavily wooded, and we like to think about that and preservation of woodlands to the extent possible during the planning process. We have also observed that along Camp Phillips Road, some of the infrastructure is in need of repair or in replacement. This is a photograph of the current intersection of Camp Phillips Road with Schofield Avenue, and you can see uh, the uh, surfaces are in a state of relative disrepair, and uh, you can also observe that this is in a very welcoming place if you're a pedestrian or a visitor to the community traveling by car. The Camp Phillips Road corridor today is not an especially friendly place to be a pedestrian, especially if you want to try to cross Camp Phillips Road. And if you are driving, it's a relatively confusing place to try to get around and get to the destinations you'd like to visit in the community. Here's an example of a very small road name sign that actually indicates two separate road names for what appears to be the same road. 
Here's another example of a wayfinding sign along Camp Phillips Road that had an initial noble purpose, but uh, with the addition of the added signs probably serves to confuse more than direct. There have been very positive efforts to enhance the image along Camp Phillips Road through gateway enhancements like wayfinding signage, uh, entryway signage, and these banners along the Everest Avenue intersection area. Based on a summary of those existing conditions and our communications with the community members, we put together a list of suggested themes for the Camp Phillips corridor plan. They include creating a welcoming image and growing economic development at this key entryway. In part, that will be accomplished by enabling conversion of residential to commercial uses for those property owners that are interested in changing the use of their land. That would be a particular focus uh, within the area between Schofield and Everest Avenues. When people are interested in converting land, the emphasis will be on consolidating the existing historic small residential lots and removing the homes from those lots to create larger viable redevelopment sites for commercial and mixed-use development. As land the redevelops in that manner, there is another opportunity to, con to consolidate and relocate access driveways onto Camp Phillips Road and to create safer ways to cross Camp Phillips. Continuing with the suggested plan themes, one of the things that we realize is important to foster this economic growth and to safely move traffic is to phase the reconstruction of Camp Phillips Road, particularly at its intersections with other main roads in the area. Another theme is to work to protect residential neighborhoods, particularly those that are east of Camp Phillips Road, and also to maintain and retain the neighborhood school feel around Weston Elementary School. We feel that the neighborhoods can and should be approved, improved through nearby education, shopping services, jobs, and better pedestrian access to those locations. The final theme is to promote reinvestment in the older uh, multiple family and mobile home areas that are particularly located west of Camp Phillips Road. What we've done to try to communicate the draft ideas for this plan is break the Camp Phillips Road corridor into three sections. The first section extends from Ross to Schofield Avenues, and this map represents those initial recommendations. The different colors represent potential future land uses within this corridor based on property owner interests to change land use. You see the green for Western Elementary School, the bright yellow represents an existing single-family residential neighborhood proposed for retention and, and uh, um, en enhancement. The brown areas represent more multiple family areas where we're encouraging reinvestment. And the pink areas that you'll see on this map and others represent locations where new commercial development and redevelopment is promoted. In general, within this stretch, we'd like to enhance the concept and idea of a neighborhood school, Weston Elementary School being that school by promoting continued residential uh, uses around the school and by in improving access to the school. The uh, other thing we're trying to accomplish with this plan uh, and this particular zone of the plan is to encourage uh, four corners retail and service development at the Camp Field, Phillips Road, Schofield Avenue intersection and to physically upgrade that intersection to serve increasing traffic and contribute to the image of the community. Before continuing, I should mention that the slides that will follow these few slides will get into greater detail on some of the smaller areas that you're seeing represented on these maps. The uh, section between Schofield Avenue and Highway 29 is where the most significant proposed changes occur. In general, we're encouraging redevelopment of these, uh, this particular area, uh, except for the yellow neighborhood you see east of Camp Phillips Road from Randy J. extending to the east. Again, as I mentioned earlier, that redevelopment would focus on lot consolidation for commercial and mixed-use development. At the same time as redevelopment occurred, the plan attempts to realign and reduce car access to improve the function of Camp Phillips Road 
and enhance the uh, entry experience and sense of place within this particular area. Again, this is a major entryway to the community and the plan recommendations within this draft uh, emphasize efforts to both increase economic development, improve appearance, and uh, improve traffic flow within this area. And finally, the section south of Highway 29 down to Weston Avenue. Within this section of the corridor planning area, the recommendations are to encourage larger scale regional retail development, the, the so-called big box uses to the east of Camp Phillips Road. In doing so, we need to make sure that we're planning with and around the wetlands within this area and recognize the potential for those wetlands to enhance the character of the development within that location. With these next several slides, I'd like to give you a closer look at some of the smaller areas that you saw on those three larger maps and provide some additional uh, detail on the recommendations for those areas. First, you can see the ideas and recommendations for Weston Elementary School, uh, the potential for utilizing this large site for school expansion if desired, for continuing to improve bike and pedestrian access along with car and bus access to the property, and to potentially reimagine or reuse the large open space for a community playground or other uh, positive school and community uses for that location. This is an example of an enhanced crosswalk location across a street that's of similar traffic volumes to what you find along Camp Phillips Road at uh, Sternberg Avenue. This is an idea where uh, pedestrians would be able to push the buttons on the side of the road and be able to cross safely. During school times, this intersection is also manned with a crossing guard. The draft plan suggests continued preservation of the single-family neighborhood east of Camp Phillips Road between Sternberg and Schofield Avenue and provides on this screen a few general ideas as to how the single-family character can be preserved over time. West of Camp Phillips Road between Ross Avenue and the Weston Center Retail Development, the recommendation is to promote the upgrading of existing buildings and properties in this area and to promote upscale market rate multifamily housing to replace uh, older housing that exists within this area where the property owners are interested in upgrading. The village has recently adopted improvements to its zoning ordinance multiple family residential design guidelines to promote high quality multiple family development. These are some examples on the next few slides of the types of projects that the village would be promoting under this draft plan within this northern residential reinvestment area. Looking further to the south, the recommendation for the northwest corner of Schofield Avenue and Camp Phillips Road is more of the same. Uh, the continued build out of the Weston Center development. You will see if you've driven by there recently the construction of a new building that will include a Dunkin Donuts. That's the general theme and direction for that particular area. Before I get into the details of this particular slide, I wanted to share with you some added detail that you'll see on these and future slides. That added detail are potential future building footprints, parking footprints, and areas for stormwater management labeled with SW. These are not uh, certainly set in stone as far as those how these areas need to redevelop but they do provide an idea for the concepts and the desired locations and placement and form of buildings and sites for future development. This particular slide shows the potential future development concept for the northeast corner of Camp Phillips Road and Schofield Avenue. The idea here, as well as other sites that you'll see to the south, is to work with property owners to consolidate smaller sites into one or two larger commercial redevelopment sites. Potential future uses include retail, 
a bank, grocery, convenience store, gas station, and other similar uses. The idea would be that those uses would take access from fewer access points along Camp Phillips and Schofield Avenue as opposed to the residential streets to the west, and that there would be a special effort to fence and buffer residential areas uh, along this stretch. This is an example of the type of building you might see and will see at the northern intersections of Camp Phillips Road and Schofield Avenue. Another concept we're promoting at this intersection and throughout the corridor is the continued use of group development signs. The idea would be that each of the tenants within a particular multi-tenant retail center or strip center would have a sign on a group sign. This tends to provide information necessary to support the business, but also uh, serves to limit the spread of temporary signs and banners which tend to add clutter to the area and work against the idea of improving its image. The draft plan will provide recommendations for not only future land use along the corridor, but for locations where the highway itself, Camp Phillips Road, can be improved. This is a set of draft recommendations for the intersection of Schofield Avenue and Camp Phillips Road, the image I showed to you a little bit earlier. What we're advising, working in hand in hand with the county, is the reconstruction of this intersection to improve its traffic capacity, especially left turning movements, to improve pedestrian safety, and to also improve the image of this area. Crossing Schofield Avenue to the south, we come across the site at the southeast corner of Schofield and Camp Phillips Road. Here again, we're suggesting redevelopment for commercial uses. That's what the pink color represents. While we believe that the gas station and convenience store is an appropriate use for this location, for a variety of reasons, we would promote the expansion and southerly extension of that uh, convenience store to the south. It will facilitate better driveway location and expansion. So we're interested in working with the property owner to facilitate that type of redevelopment and expansion of, of the use. And this is a real life example of the sketch you saw in the previous slide where the uh, gas station convenience store is actually a fairly large uh, convenience store, has a full service car wash to the rear and uh, has the gas pumps to the side of the building as opposed to the traditional alignment in front of the building. Extending further south along Camp Phillips Road, this is the potential concept for the redevelopment of the area northeast of Jelinek and Camp Phillips. The concept here is to pr promote redevelopment for retail and commercial service development and to promote consolidated access onto Camp Phillips Road and, where possible, directing access to side streets like Jelinek. Across Camp Phillips Road from the previous site, the ideas are to promote, again, redevelopment of this area. The uh, idea or concept would be to relocate driveway access to the Winding Ridge Apartments in order to create a larger redevelopment site and to create a four corners situation at Jelinek and Camp Phillips Road, where currently we have a T intersection of Jelinek and Camp Phillips. The types of uses as you see here, uh, we, we've envisioned a mix of retail, restaurant, and even additional apartments within this location to promote a mixed use development concept. This is an example of a commercial building that frames an intersection in another community. The idea with this intersection of Jelinek and Camp Phillips, as well as many other locations along the Camp Phillips corridor, is to use buildings as opposed to parking lots to frame the intersections and to allow relatively narrow setbacks. Ten feet is a recommendation that we have throughout several locations in this corridor. This is in recognition of the interest in bringing the buildings out front and promoting the community image, and also in recognition of the relatively small sites we have to deal with. In many places, we simply can't afford large setbacks to accomplish 
economic redevelopment of this area. This is one of the more interesting sites along the corridor. Uh, this location is between Jelinek Avenue and Monterey. Currently Monterey is a small street that extends only to the west of Camp Phillips Road. What we suggest through this concept is creating another Four Corners intersection at Monterey. That would involve extending Monterey to the east to Randy J Street. This concept tries to in include some of the earlier themes that we've talked about all on one site. The idea is to consolidate several lots into larger redevelopment sites to promote intersection development at each of these two inter new intersections, Jelinek and Monterey. The redevelopment concept represented on this graphic has retail development, perhaps small strip centers, located along Camp Phillips Road, served by ample parking, and then along Randy J, rather than promoting continued commercial development, which would uh, negatively affect or could negatively affect residential to the east, promoting townhome or residential redevelopment of a, of a different type. This slide represents an example of the type of retail development you might be able to see here. Again, located relatively close to the street with the majority of parking to the side of the building. And these next two slides represent the general concept for townhouse development along Randy J. Way. Again, to preserve and protect the residential integrity of the Randy J. Street and the neighborhood to the east. This slide represents one of the few areas within the central corridor planning area where land use change is not advised. And this is the neighborhood preservation area that I've just been talking about, extending from Randy J to the east of our planning area. The general idea is to continue to promote single family owner occupied character within this area. And as land redevelops to the west to uh, improve and enhance stormwater management and proper landscaping and buffering to maintain that residential feel. Now I'm going to take you again to the west side of Camp Phillips Road, in this case between the short Monterey Avenue and an extension of Jelinek to the west, which you see on the north edge of the map on this particular slide. The concept here is to promote uh, mixed-use redevelopment of this site, again through lot consolidation and relatively small setbacks. Potential uses include retail centers, dining, office development, and compatible services. And the other thing you see here is the potential for a mixed-use commercial residential building where we might have commercial uses on the first floor and housing above it. Uh, and the dash lines to it represent the potential for underbuilding parking to serve that residential use. These next two slides provide conceptual examples of real-world developments where residential uses have been incorporated with retail uses in new development forms. These are not in downtown areas, but rather in more suburban parts of communities. And what this provides an opportunity for is to essentially juice up the retail market through providing a customer base directly above it. Similar to the area north of Schofield Avenue, the lands between Schofield and Avenue also include an area for residential reinvestment to the west of Camp Phillips Road. In this case, it's the Colonial Gardens Mobile Home Park. The idea um, in this location is to work with the mobile home park, park owner to enforce the code, code, the code within that area and improve access and visibility from Camp Phillips Road and ideally work with the mobile home park owner to promote upscale market rate replacement housing for the mobile home park. And that could be designed along the lines of traditional neighborhood development. So you might be asking yourself, what is traditional neighborhood development? Well, the traditional and that traditional neighborhoods represent a development form that existed and was very common prior to World War II. 
the general concept is to promote smaller houses on smaller lots, promoting owner occupancy while providing uh, the required density necessary to uh, provide a proper incentive for redevelopment of places like a mobile home park. The images you'll see on the next few slides represents housing of different densities within traditional neighborhoods that have been developed in Wisconsin over the last several years and provide a feel and flavor for the concept for this potential residential reinvestment area. Are you still with me? This slide represents potential future opportunities for another location in the central zone of our corridor. This is northeast of the Everest Avenue intersection and that representation you see on the north is that future extension, potential future extension of Monterey Avenue to, to bracket this particular redevelopment site. You see on this uh, location, like others, the suggestion of lot consolidation for larger redevelopment sites. You also see a suggestion of closure of streets to both create larger sites and to continue to emphasize the preservation of the neighborhood to the east. With this site and others, I want to continue to emphasize that the redevelopment of these areas is contingent on property owner interest and support. On the opposite side of the street, the draft plan suggests opportunities for continued retail and office development. The development form that we're looking at in this location is very similar to what you see across Everest Avenue from this location with the Aspirus and the Eye Center clinics. The general idea being that the building should be front and center with the parking, in this case, behind. And this is an example of that image as you see it today along Camp Phillips Road, south of Everest Avenue at the interchange. This is a location at the intersection where we might see an opportunity for shopping type uses like this grocery store. The notion being that the grocery store can serve the adjacent and nearby residential population as well as the broader region. This also is an example of the type of form that we would need to promote within this area to take best advantage of the relatively small sites, even with lot consolidation. I also want to re-emphasize the notion that this area along Camp Phillips Road provide not only a place for economic development, but for community image building. This is an example of a development amenity that was incorporated into a commercial project that provides a sense of place and could for the location it's planned. This site, the larger site in pink on the left side of the map, is located west of Kathleen and northwest of Everest Avenue Community Center Drive. It's a wooded sloped area that would be appropriate for a potential office research park one that minimizes the size and location of parking lots and building put footprints in order to maintain the natural terrain and vegetation. And this is the type of development you might see in this location if the plan is approved according to this draft. This is our second intersection area where we would like to work with the county and in this case the state to enhance the safety, flow, and appearance of the intersection. This is at the relatively confusingly named intersection of Camp Phillips Road, Everest Avenue, Barbican, and Community Center Drive. One of the ideas here is to improve traffic flow, to minimize shortcutting through the neighborhood, to improve safety for bikes and pedestrians crossing Camp Phillips Road, and to look at different concepts for designing the intersection including a system of potential roundabouts. This project is a little bit further down the road than the Schofield Camp Phillips Road intersection idea 
discussed earlier in the presentation. Extending south across Highway 29 down to Weston Avenue, the recommendations change from redevelopment to new development, and particularly new development east of Camp Phillips Road. This area is identified for larger scale retail, hospitality, and commercial uses, with site designs that preserve and celebrate the natural character of this landscape. The idea also is to promote the image along Highway 29 in a way that development to the west of Camp Phillips Road has already done. And these slides represent a couple of examples of the type of development and design of development that the village would promote within this area if the plan is adopted as shown. The southern area has the third of our three major intersection improvement areas. This location is the current intersection of Westview Boulevard and Camp Phillips Road, where there is a boulevard extending to the west to the Stone Ridge Business Park and Regional Medical Center area. The idea is, if practical, to extend that intersection to the east. The challenge will be the location of wetlands in this area that may require some compromises and different orientations for that particular intersection. Congratulations, you've made it through the entire presentation. What I'd like to share with you now is a little bit about where we're headed with this draft plan. You've seen a lot of ideas uh, if you made it through this plan presentation. One of the uh, things we want to communicate is uh, the desire to receive your questions and comments on the draft plan. And if you're looking at this on the Village's webpage, there's an opportunity to provide comments uh, to the Village either online or by telephone, and we encourage you to do that. We are working with a steering committee comprised of the Village Board and Plan Commission, and we'll work with that committee to prepare a draft of the entire plan over the course of the late summer and early fall. The idea was, would be a return to the public for a second public meeting and presentation of where we're at at that time. Ultimately, the plan would be adopted as part of the Village's comprehensive plan and used to guide development proposals. How the plan looks and feels ultimately will depend in large part on the input and involvement we receive from property owners and the general public within the community. So once again, we welcome your comments and feedback on the draft plan before we move forward uh, to completion. Thank you very much for paying attention. Take care. Bye-bye.